All right, everybody, let's get this uh, little party started. What do you say? Uh, this is our competition practice chicken cook. Um, got seven thighs here. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the skin from our thighs. And we're going to want to lay this out nice and flat, stretch it out a little bit. And get it to the edge, towards the edge of your cutting board if you can. Hopefully y'all can see that. Yep. Cool. Alright, now there is a fairly thick layer of fat back here on the back of your skin, which for competition wise, <clears throat> you want a bite through skin. If that skin comes off all at once when a judge takes their one bite of chicken. Your score is going to suck, let me tell you. So, I've had it happen. It's not fun. So, we're going to try to show you how to hopefully accomplish a bite through skin today. If you look, nice, long, flexible fillet knife. Colored cutting board helps immensely, okay? And we're just gonna keep rolling this fat right off. Now I do have a pack of seven thighs here. Look at that, that's what you don't want. Um, I didn't look very close when I was at the store. Normally they come in eights. And my pan, I'm gonna show you here shortly that I start to cook the chicken in, is an eight hole brownie pan. Works very nice for helping you shape your thighs into size. Now I'm only showing you one of the thighs here. I have already done the other six, but not all of the same skin went back on the same thigh. Um, not all of them match up well. So you're gonna play a little, you're gonna have a puzzle. Match the best thigh to the best skin as far as size wise so you can wrap all the way around let's go ahead and get this done here we don't need that we don't need that all right we are done with the skin one thing i like to do with my skin is i have my house salt i will put a very thin layer on the back side help draw out that moisture crisp up that skin now if you look on the thigh it's not very symmetrical we're gonna ball it up like we would to put in our pan which I'll show you in a minute we're just gonna kind of look where we want to cut and we want to square it up so we have a nice presentation in our box. We're going to get rid of a little bit of that extra fat on each end here. Now if you get a little meat with it, if you get a good sized chunk of meat, don't throw that meat away. Save it for a stock. You're not going to have a ton of meat left over. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, if you do have some good chunks of meat, save it for stock. Don't throw it away. It's still good meat. That little piece of fat. Now what I like to do, uh, we're using Sweet Smoky Joe's Honey Chipotle that Stan was kind enough to send me. I'm going to put a thin layer on the back side of the thigh here. We're going to flip it over. We're going to put a thin layer on the meat on this side. And now, Time to close this thigh. The nice thing about the skin is you're able to stretch it a little bit. And we're gonna roll that up nice and tight like this. And one more thin layer. Let me get my pan over here so you can see that. And this pan, is greased with the barbecue guy's best friend. 
that magic blue bottle. So here we go. We are going to set these back in the fridge. Uh, we're going to get our kettle up to temp with the bro and sear in it. And we'll bring it back when it's ready to go. All right, everybody, we are out at the kettle. Let me pop this off. Uh, show you what we got here. Yeah, there's a little bit of snow on the ground here in Iowa today. We got about six inches overnight. So there we go. A little more of that magic blue bottle on the top. Running right at 275 degrees. So let's get the lid back on and let's get cooking. We'll uh, come back, pull these out of the pan in 45 minutes, put it on a wire rack and put them back on for about another hour and 20 minutes, we'll temp them. So, see you in a short. All right, gang, we are back. It's been 45 minutes. Uh, let me glove up here real quick. These thighs have very nice color on them. I'm liking the way they're looking so far. Uh, they're starting to get that nice mahogany brown but uh, it is time to get them out of that little butter bath they've been cooking in and onto our wire rack. Now what I like to do a lot of times, just use a skewer, come in alongside that bone. You don't wanna make any more marks on your chicken than you have to for comp wise. Ooh, that one's a little off center. But we're going to go ahead, get these thighs pulled out. We're going to put them back on the smoker. We're still running right around 275 degrees. And as you can see, this guy's a little small. But if we had to use him for comp, we'd hide him underneath in the back for the presentation portion. Typically to get six good turn-in pieces, I'm probably gonna use two eight packs of chicken just so I can get them sized up as even as possible. Just this for you a little bit. There you go, a little better look at that chicken. So, like I said, we're gonna get this back on the pit. Uh, about another hour, hour and 15 minutes, we're gonna start checking temps, and we'll show you the next process then. All right, just temp the chicken, and it is looking perfect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get these thighs glazed with our barbecue sauce. And get them back out on the pit. Make sure you get all your ends, top, bottom, get it all. Nice thin layer, let it shine up a little bit. And get them back out on the pit for about another 20 minutes. And we will be ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of these, put them back on the pit, and we will bring you back with finished product. Thanks, everybody. And here we are with our finished product. Uh, a lot of our comps up here are no garnish, so fills the box up rather nice. And number seven, Took a bite of that bad boy. Not too bad. Skin could have been a little crisper, but uh, we're gonna go with this for a good baseline test. Uh, need to work on the color of the sauce, lighten that up just a little bit. Got a little dark, but all in all, pretty happy with it. So there you go, our first in the series.
We'll see you on the next one, gang. Thanks. Thanks.